good morning officially hello everybody how are we doing on this beautiful weekend um there's a crazy gardener listen in my ear so excuse that noise <laughs> but um hello everybody how the hell are we doing it's the weekend um we're less than two weeks away from november 1st like it really just sank in um <laughs> like holy shit okay i know you're like you're, come on guys you, jeffrey you can't be surprised we've been filming since january i can't believe november 1st is finally almost here Listen, can I be really real with you guys? Last year when me and Shane first filmed and we kind of like pulled the curtain behind so much of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics business, I was still a little shook and I'm still very insecure about it. I don't know why, but it's hard sometimes to find the thin line of like being an entertainer, being a makeup reviewer, being a brand owner, being me. <laughs> um, so my insecurities have definitely gotten the best of me this year and I really haven't shown as much of the behind the scenes of the business of the beauty world that you guys asked me to. So waking up to like today and seeing all the feedback and all the crazy amazing questions and stuff that you guys are loving and watching in the series is like kind of mind blowing for me. Um, but it's also my world, you know what I mean? So, listen, can I be really real with you guys? Last year when me and Shane first filmed and we kind of like pulled the curtain behind so much of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics business, I was still a little shook and I'm still very insecure about it. I don't know why, but it's hard sometimes to find the thin line of like being an entertainer, being a makeup reviewer, being a brand owner, being me. <laughs> um, so my insecurities have definitely gotten the best of me this year and I really haven't shown as much of the behind the scenes of the business of the beauty world that you guys asked me to. So waking up to like today and seeing all the feedback and all the crazy amazing questions and stuff that you guys are loving and watching in the series is like kind of mind-blowing for me um but it's also my world you know what i mean so on the real i go quiet on my phone a lot because i'm just working like i'm not glued to my phone i don't call myself an influencer you guys know i'm a brand owner i'm motherfucking jeffrey lynn miss thing and like <laughs> on the real i wake up every day i say good morning i want to inspire you guys keep everyone going and then you guys what happens off the phone i get in my car i go to the office and i'm there for hours and hours and hours whether it's creating, um, dealing with employees, shipping issues. Like there are so many things that go into my day to day and I don't really film or talk about a lot of it. Um, I'll come home, I'll review something or I'll film a crazy event or going somewhere. But um, it's definitely a huge goal of mine to push my channel even further. And thanks to Shane and Andrew for always inspiring me because just doing this has inspired me yet again to push my content. And there are a few really major videos that are gonna take me a few weeks to film but I think it's worth it um, in the long run. And you guys are very fascinated by the business side. So I'm like, oh, 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 oh. And honestly, every collection I do, there's obviously, you know, there's so much that goes into it. So I want to start filming a few more behind the scenes of creating entire collections. So when they drop, you guys can actually see like, whoa, this is what went behind all that. So next year, obviously, there is a lot going on um <laughs> and you know it's time to expand jeffree star cosmetics even more so 2020 how are you but honestly you guys i swear to god i woke up today like i think smiling for the first time in weeks um it's been a really difficult time over here and just waking up even in this house is kind of like it's a little down so um i feel good i honestly feel good it's taken weeks and weeks to even try to get to this place, but um, I'm okay. So on a real level, I want everyone to enjoy episode four. I can't believe it's out. We are less than two weeks away from the, oh, hey bitch, the Conspiracy Palette and the Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star collection, November 1st. We are two weeks away. How are ya? I got time this morning, bitch. Y'all wanna hear some more? Y'all want some more tea? Um, I always have thoughts and opinions and a lot of the times people take it as like drama or starting something and I'm like, girl, I know so much about this industry. I'm a marketing mastermind and I've been in the game for a long time. So when I'm voicing an opinion about someone else's business or maybe a thought about something, like it's never tea, it's just the reality. And I know I say that, I'm not even trying to joke around right now, like 
it's the reality. I always keep it so real and often it's gotten me in, in trouble. And I sometimes think at night, like, girl, like, do people not want to know the truth? Maybe they don't. But in this industry, there are so many secrets. So I'm working on a very big beauty secrets video right now, uncovering more layers of what brands are afraid and do not want you, the customer, to know. Me, the customer. I'm like, girl, I get a lot of PR in the mail, but I spend thousands of dollars on makeup. Um, I started as a makeup lover and I will die a makeup lover. So as someone who buys makeup all the time, whether it's online, Ulta, Sephora, when I travel, like I just love trying new things. I was in Rite Aid this morning, literally, <laughs> um, 20 minutes ago, and there was a new beauty line in Rite Aid. And I was like, oh my God, like I wanna try it. So I just bought it all. Like I just love buying it, but there are so many secrets and things that brands do. And I think that they're afraid for me to unveil things like girl on the real like all these brand influencer trips i think they kind of need to stop like i'm all down for a party and a hurrah but like you shouldn't need to fly 45 influencers to a foreign country to sell some mascara girl do uh, is that necessary anymore like uh, i just think the way that the beauty industry is it's stale bitch I'm bored. I think what's most fascinating about the makeup and beauty industry is that it's always evolving. And it's a little stale right now. Companies are a little stale. They're panicking. There's a few big dogs that are killing it. They are artistically amazing. But a lot of brands right now, like, as someone who buys makeup, bitch, I'm bored. And I love to hear your guys' thoughts. Tweet me, bitch. This is going to be up all day. I want to hear your thoughts. Watch episode four. Chime in. Um, and I always have a lot of thoughts and opinions. And some people don't like it. The truth sometimes hurts. Trust me. It's hurt me. It's hurt. <laughs> but the truth fucking hurts. And I think that this industry needs a little awakening. And... A lot of people are afraid. Some people don't want to play along. But at the end of the day, me and Shane wanted to create something that had never been done before and do something different because the beauty industry girl, it's getting a little boring. So let me just say one last thing. I'm ready for 2020 to have new blood on the scene, new faces. I want to see more beauty on YouTube, more content. And there is just so much growing room Right now, I think everything is just kind of like in a state of weird limbo, girl. And I'm, me and Shane are just trying to crack the eggs. So um, thank you to anyone who has made it this far into my rant. I love you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go enjoy this beautiful day. I will be back in a little bit. But um, I'll be on Twitter later. So let me know your thoughts about everything. And um, whew, what a year. I'm like, what a year.